Hi, welcome back. Uh, I'm Karthik, and you're watching my Poddar KK Tricks and Technology. And this is C Sharp Written Interview Question and Answer Series. So let's see first demo. I just want to create, and I just want to show you how to display the pattern like G in alphabet with an asterisk. Okay, so it is very straight and forward. So first we have to understand what actually you know. Uh, flowchart would be so we have to understand first flowchart and uh, before understand the uh, flowchart we have to understand actually how's creating this shape okay of G alphabet G so it is very straightforward to uh, one row and one column required okay so this is a row okay and this is a column okay and we have set up logic according to row and column we will implement this shape of alphabet G okay so you can see over here it is a you know we have to separate the logic one by one okay so first logic you can see over here you know first column you know second column you it is a you know second column where I need actually you know uh, uh, one two three four five six star we have to print the six star okay so it is a first column okay and this is a it is a first logic and second logic you can see over here in the top you know first row and last row okay so they are the same it is a second logic and third logic you can see over here the middle of this you know alphabet okay this is a third logic and fourth logic you can see over here one two three okay so we have to create this four logic look like this you can see over here I have implement here so don't worry I will uh, implement one by one and I will uh, show you how to how it will work and how we will create okay so first we have to understand right now you know uh, flowchart so I will create a row row loop and which is you know uh, less than less than you know six not less than uh, greater than equal to six and if it is match and it is true so it will uh, and it will come under the column okay in the inner loop that is a column okay and it is also less than five less than equal to five so it will go and uh, check it is uh, what is our uh, you know logic and uh, we are implement so it is correct or not it means it match or not does not match so it will match so it will print star if does not match so it will print you know simple space you can see over here it is a space okay so it will print space and again you know running uh, uh, running the loop uh, till then it not greater than 5 okay so this is a very straightforward you know your uh, flow chart so let's implement in a practical example so I will open you know visual studio and I will create and a simple console application just click on next I will you know G G demo okay okay so it's creating just a second okay so almost creating okay so first I will remove here so first I, I need to actually I will show you actually yeah uh, okay first you can see over here okay just a second first we we have to create and we have to initialize you know two two variable like row and column so I will create a variable like row and column as an integer okay and after that I will decorate you know some line like you know already I have show you like you know this you know actually what we are implementing actually when I will run the application and uh, uh, with the output so I have to understand actually what we are actually implementing okay so that's why I, I need to you know decorate this thing so just a little bit we have to implement okay just uh, slash and because I need you know first first space with the line and again I will implement I know what are we are implementing and we are implementing display display 
display pattern okay display the pattern like g with an asterisk okay and just uh, bind up and uh, i will decorate as a dotted under this you know questions actually this is a question you can see and uh, after that i will just print a new line okay so now i have to i will implement you know the you know okay now i will implement the loop okay so first i create a loop a row loop and uh, I, after that i will get under this you know outer loop we have to create in a inner loop okay so i will create loop as a row and it would be six already i have discussed okay just a second okay it would be six because because you know 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we need six uh, row so that's why i will create six row loop okay so okay again i need a column which is already we have discussed in uh, our flow chart okay and uh, very simple it would be also you know 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 so I will create as a 5 and okay so maybe something okay now now we have to create a logic this logic so creating this shape okay so first I will you know I will check the condition if if you know uh, my first condition you know like you can see over here I need uh, print the star but column on one because it is a zero index and it is a one index okay so it is a one index column would be you know uh, uh, it is a one index column and after how many uh, uh, left the rows like you know I don't print on the uh, zero row and I don't want print in the uh, six row okay so we will exclude fit two two uh, two rows uh, after that I will print all the rows okay so very straightforward logic should be here first logic would be column would be one okay and you can see over column would be one okay this is one column okay and row not equal to like you know 0 and 6 okay so and row not equal to 0 and row not equal to 6 okay so just print if it match so I will print you know uh, uh, star if it does not match so I will print space so just print star so CW and I will just remove right line and I just print only star okay and same as it is I will print an else part which is not match if does not match and it is false so that time I will print okay I will print with the space okay just full screen okay after you know uh, when okay let's see okay so when it will printing okay one way print after uh, end of this you know column you know this is a column so when it will printing this column so I just remove uh, I just you know uh, after end of this uh, column I need I, I want to send you know new new uh, new column new row okay so th that why I will use after end this inner loop I just print console right line okay so after finish this loop it will send new line okay after finish 
also inner loop again uh, all, all outer loop so that why again I will print a new line but it is not necessary we can skip this line but it is a okay it is a decorate so it's look like good okay so you can see over here I have implemented just build this application and just run actually what uh, this logic actually what happened and what's working so I think it's better for understanding so just a second okay now you can see I have implemented first logic uh, which is you know uh, state forward line of this you know G shape okay this is a okay so now okay now I will separate these things okay in this okay now I will implement you know this two line okay so first you know that line you know that logic actually you know on the top of zero uh, zero rows and and six rows okay so uh, what our logic logic is very simple if our row equal to zero that time I will paint the star as well I will when our uh, you know uh, our row would be equal to 6 that time I will print a star but a star only 3 star in the no, left section we, we don't want to print the star and light, right section we don't want to print the star okay so logic very simple and forward logic would be here if row equal equal 0 and row equal equal 6 okay that time I will I, I will print the star and and column not uh, column less than 1 and greater than 5 okay so just print or condition here and very simple I just uh, know row equal equal 1 equal equal 0 or row equal equal 6 it is a first condition because you know this is a first condition so I will decorate these things and and our column less than 1 that means it should be greater than 1 uh, and less than 1 greater than 1 and Okay, column uh, greater than 1 and less than 5. Okay, so column, sorry, okay, and we have to send and column less than 5. Okay. okay well, actually greater than 5 okay. it's greater than 5 so I will decorate this logic over here okay so it is a second logic we have to you know top and you know and so just save and just run the application we have to see okay now it's great now I have implement another to another logic that is our second logic okay now we will implement third logic which is you know you know how many row index you know 0 1 2 3 3 index we have to implement you know we want to print 3 star okay but with the space you know first space after that we have to print print 3 star okay so that logic you know very simple and straightforward logic you know uh, when we will start of this logic you know 0 row 0 1 2 3 you know row equal to 3 okay and column you know uh, when I will start column column actually is, is a 0 0 it is a 0 column 0 1 2 okay so it is a uh, no uh, greater than 2 and less than 6 you know less than 6 okay okay so just need to implement this logic okay it is a very simple logic so I just uh, open my visual studio and I will pray I will set all conditions and I will set column okay 
so not first we have to set row actually row equal equal to 3 because I will start from row index 3 and and column greater than 2 greater than 2 and less than okay and the condition we have to and column less than 6 okay so just put in bracket because it is a another logic so I think it will work so just run the application see output now grades now you can see it's working fine okay so we have to implement last logic which is you know uh, okay let's see which is you know this logic you know only one star print of the end of the column okay so how many um, uh, that logic how many you know uh, index 0 uh, index uh, row row 1 and uh, row 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so we want to print on three three rows okay uh, uh, rows 1 and row 4 and 5 okay so very simple and straightforward logic would be here like you can see over here column equal equal to 5 okay column equal 5 that means you know uh, 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 and end of this you know column we have to print that's why I will I will put logic column equal equal to 5 and row not equal to 0 because I don't print I don't want to print over here and not not I don't I don't want to uh, I don't want to print over here not equal to you know uh, not equal to 2 also it is a 2 and not equal to 6 over here okay so these three rows we will skip and along with the, all the all the rows we want to print a star okay so just implement the last logic so with the or I will put uh, the logic column equal equal 5 and and row row not equal to okay not equal to uh, 0 not equal to 0 and row not equal to uh, which one row not equal to okay 2 and row not equal to row not equal to you know 6 okay so I will put over here 6 and just put in bracket this logic okay so I think it has completed so let's see in a demo and what's its output wow now over here you can see now it's have you know implementing and uh, with the with the G shape G alphabet shape okay so let's see in the debugger mode and uh, let's see in the debugger mode so I will put here debugger mode debugger point over here and I will just run the application and I will put separate okay now you can see over here I just press I will press F10 for debugging you can see it's printing and it's implementing logic okay it is the third logic okay and final column it is a final rows last row and that's it okay so okay so that's it for this video video session if any issue or if don't understand actually 
uh, how is implementing and what is the logic you know please feel free uh, mention the comment mention the comment in my comment section video comment section i will help you i will help every time okay i will guide you and that's it for session please keep watching and subscribe my channel